Remote workers come in all shapes and sizes, and this show is for all of them. So today we are gonna do something we have never done before and actually break out of the office. I have everything I need here in my trusty backpack, just like Dora the Explorer. And over the next couple of weeks, I am going to be meeting remote workers all over the Americas. First up, Cincinnati, Ohio. All right, all right, all right, I made it. We are here in Cincinnati, home of the Reds sports team, which I am assured is a really big deal. Hey, wanna catch up? I am excited to kick off my journey here and take the opportunity to meet a real life remote worker called Jeff. Jeff works as a podcaster for his favorite sports team. Jeff is passionate about two things, Cincinnati and sports, specifically the Cincinnati Reds, which is why we're here at their home stadium. Remote work has actually enabled him to do the thing that he has always wanted to do. All right, so fill me in, where are we right now? Right now we are at Great American Ballpark, my home away from home. Why is that? Love this place. I come here all the time whenever it's season. I try to come to at least yeah. 20 games a year, if not more. Oh my goodness, that's a lot. So you're, you're a sports guy then? Oh yeah. All about the Reds, man. I've grown up being a baseball fan. I played baseball when I was yeah. younger. I wasn't very good at it, so I figured, okay, let's just, you know, talk about baseball. Let's make something out of that. So Yeah? So that's what you do? Yeah, I'm a podcaster. I podcast five days a week, Monday through Friday, uh, about the Reds. It's called Locked on Reds. Mm -hmm and also get the chance to manage because we have a podcast for every other Major League Baseball team, so I manage wow. those as well. So, uh, rapid fire questions. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? Oh my gosh, there's so many. Okay, there's one that Graders makes. It's called Boldly Bearcat. It is mascarpone ice cream with Oreos in it and chocolate chunks. That is the most Ohio thing I think I've ever heard. Love it. <laughs> Amazing. Love it. Uh, what is your favorite sports team? It's got to be the Cincinnati Reds. Uh-huh. Even though they're not the best in the town right now, they're they're definitely my favorite. What is the best thing about working remotely? To be able to mold your schedule as you need it to. I can be there for my family, I can be there for my friends, and I can still get everything done that I need to. What does it mean for you to be able to work in that field and do what you get to do here? It's everything because I have done a couple of other things. There's something about this that, yeah, when you work remote, you don't have regular office hours, but yeah. also when you do something that you love as much as you do, that's no problem. So the way that things have evolved to where I work remotely now has really been nothing short of a blessing because I get to cover my favorite team. I get to live in my hometown and I get to have a work-life balance. It's kind of all the, you know, what everybody's searching for. When people think about remote work, they're quick to talk about the logistics of Zoom calls and stuff like that, but they forget that it actually affects opportunity mm -hmm. and what that can do to an individual. Uh, and in your case, the fact that you can work remotely means that you can live where you want to live and work in the field that you care most about. That, that in and of itself is something that's kind of blown me away a little bit with different co-workers that I have. Our locked on Marlins, so they couple, he covers the uh, Miami Marlins for Major League Baseball. He lives in uh, Britain. And then my co-host for Locked On Reds, he lives in Hawaii. So the fact that you can stretch out and just instantly talk with people and, and develop relationships with people that in ordinary life you never would have met because they're so far away from you, that's where the idea of remote work just floors. It's pretty eye-opening, right? That's yeah. welcome to my life. You know, I'm based in New Zealand. I'm yeah. here in Cincinnati. I'm going to Guatemala tomorrow. Well, I'm glad you picked the non-glamorous portion of your trip to <laughs> first. <laughs> no, it's awesome. Well, it looks like we got here. Should we go on and have some let's, bourbon? Let's do it. The waitress with your fly right now. So here you've got the bourbon, the rye, and the single barrel. Amazing. Well, I gotta say, I'm really glad I filled up on spaghetti and chili before this yeah. because uh, otherwise, who knows where we would end up. Which one should we start with? Let's start with the bourbon. Let's okay, go perfect. Go, uh, regular first because this is some good stuff. Yeah, I love that. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, that's really good. I could not have appreciated this a couple of years ago. I was in a 
a big whiskey drinker. It's always been your thing? I've really grown into rye. I started with bourbon uh, and then scotch a lot too. I do like scotch, but rye is so different. Oh, I don't even know what the difference between bourbon and rye is. It's more it's more so in the, in the base of it, because bourbon, you have to be at least 51% corn, and then rye can be a lot of different things. That's you're, actually, you really know your stuff. I like it too much. <laughs> <laughs> it was right about then in my conversation with Jeff that I realized for the first time, in industries like news and sport, a distributed team isn't just a location preference, it's a competitive advantage. Jeff's company is beating bigger rivals like ESPN who just report the scores. And that's all because their remote model means their presenters care about the local team as much as the listeners do. Let me ask you, do you have a, like a podcaster voice? For the most part, like, I try my best, at least on the podcast, to sound a little bit organic. Yeah. But like you can come out and like, you know, you're looking live at the scene here at Ohio Stadium. It sounds you know, like a crime like scene. That. Right. It's just like, you know, you get a little bit over the top. You're watching One Network News, New Zealand. I have one more, one more request for you, Jeff. Yeah. So you've seen this show, you know how we end it. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm Andrew Allen. I'm Jeff Carr. And this, wait, sh I'm Andrew Allen. I'm Jeff Carr. And the future of work is out of office. <laughs>